Do I have all, everybody's attention? Or am I supposed to shout? I see other people going into the cafeteria. I know what's in that cafeteria, by the way. Uh, I know that that cafeteria has things that are not here, Steve. Yeah, yes, please. Okay, city manager Jason Gobeni, please come closer. Please leave Rihanna. Good evening and um, welcome to the last part of today's uh, conference, which is quite um, evidently more about networking rather than sitting down and being formally engaged. Um, I trust that you will enjoy it in the same way that you have enjoyed all other sessions um, of the session. Clearly, um, we would like you... Hi, city manager of Buffalo City. Okay. Um, clearly, we would not like to keep you for long tonight, more so because we want you to be present um, at tomorrow's session as well. Um, my, my task is to introduce um, the city manager of Tswane. Thank you very much, uh, Strole. Uh, and I'm hoping that um, with those accolades, we've been a good host. Uh, and where you are standing right now, you are in the best place you can ever be in Gauteng. And uh, you're also in the best place, the second best place you can ever be in South Africa. So, um, with those few words, but I want to do something for Strole. And Stolle, this one I won't charge you for. Um, I, I, you've been talking about instant grammar. <laughs> but I want to tell you something about insta, ins, Instagram that maybe a few other people don't know here. And I'm going to read it here. It says, in, in, Instagram is an online mobile photo sharing, video sharing, and social networking service that enables its users to take pictures and videos and share them on a variety of social network platforms such as Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and Flickr. So now I'm going to complicate it even further for you. What is Tumblr? <laughs> what is Flickr? Okay, colleagues, that was just for story, but um, I think the one thing we, pride, we pride ourselves about in the city of Swane is that we have uh, taken a head start and we launched what is today our um, catalytic and cutting edge project called Free Wi Fi. Uh, I think through this, uh, we, we did, in fact, we have uh, exceeded, our, we've exceeded our own expectations. Uh, I'm told that we now have about 80,000 unique users on a daily basis that are logging onto the service. We've started launching uh, seven sites. Uh, one of them is not far from here in Hatfield, and then went to the square, uh, church square, and then we targeted uh, where there's a number of students because they are usually the people that uh, find it easy to, to use these social networks. And we started with seven sites. I mean, that was two years ago. And now we have uh, connected over 240 schools. So in other words, there are children at schools who don't have to worry about at time, et cetera. I mean, you can log in into WhatsApp, talk to your parent, and you can do your homework, etc. So it has really improved the quality of life of the people of Tswane. And we've uh, now introduced a new one called uh, Tswane Wi-Fi wi -Fi TV. I mean, it would be an event like this, but we're targeting the townships. And what we wanted to do is to stimulate what we call township journalism. So it would be ordinary people in the township, they take a picture or in fact a video, and they start talking and commentating about what's happening in the background, and that video gets loaded onto the website. Now, this is what we did so that we at least force you to get into these places and watch the videos. If you go to a free Wi-Fi site of Swan, 
as soon as you connect there, the first landing page is the is a free Wi-Fi TV. So I mean, the, the the stories are so interesting that you will not be able to ignore them. So you go in there and see and watch a, a story about a community hero that assisted in getting the community galvanized to clean a small area, piece of uh, area, or in fact, even encourage the community to uh, separate waste at source. So those are the type of stories that are starting to come through. But here's an interesting statistic. Over one million people have logged into the free, free Wi-Fi TV or the Wi-Fi TV and watched at least a video. So which means uh, this is making an impact. In fact, we are starting to talk to our community as the online community, as for the online community, you know. It's not, uh, we don't have to gather them in one place. And in fact, some of the discussions that are starting to take place in the boardrooms, uh, whether do we need a big gathering like this to talk to our residents, or can we get the mayor somewhere to sit somewhere and ask each citizen to go and log into the free Wi-Fi website and watch and listen to the mayor speak. In fact, we've got a Vision 2055 um, long-term plan, which is linked to the Gauteng 2055. In 2055, I mean, there are simple things such as, we don't think there's going to be a bank. You, you won't need to walk into a bank. We don't think there's a need. <coughs> we don't think there's uh, going to be a need for us to have uh, these service points that are being built up. You know, in other words, uh, it's going to challenge a special built environment that do we need to build big offices for people? Do we need to build big shopping centers? Or can I sit at my house and look at what I need and place an order and it gets delivered? No, no. That's Mobile Media Mob, the team who managed the Instagram competition. They can tell you on Instagram and possibly Tumblr and all the other million and one social media, Flickr, etc. In fact, um, while we were doing this Instagram competition, I was chatting to, to Louise and she was saying, have you heard of Snapchat? And I'm like, oh my God, what's Snapchat? And literally, Snapchat, you post something, if you don't look at it within the required, the specific amount of time, it disappears. Oh, well, the, 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 the city manager is very good at <laughs> So Tola, you need to come and get lessons here. But um, so, so obviously this point about digital technology is absolutely essential and and in line with what we're saying about short-term but also long-term objectives for special transformation, this is crucial because this is the kind of technologically savvy um, approach that we need to have as cities going into the future and engaging with the city space and with urban residents. So this is why we then decided, let's try this. Um, uh, uh, it's a bit of an experiment, I keep on telling people, so whenever there's been a bit of glitches, I'm like, it's an experiment, we're also trying. In fact, at Cities Network, we're also trying to grow our social media presence.